and welcome to this second simple beginner blitz plus tutorial by orange moon network in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to make a very basic text calculator in blitz plus and we'll be using new commands such as the repeat command and the if statement so so what we're going to do is it will ask you for an input it'll say do you want to add two numbers if so you press a if you want to subtract them press c S, I mean, sorry. Um, if you want to multiply them, press M. Or if you want to divide them, press D. Or you can type in E for exit. And it will constantly do that until you exit. So we'll type repeat. So remember, this is yellow, which means it's a command. And at the bottom of every repeat statement, you need an until. Or you can type in forever, so it will never stop repeating it unless you close the program. I'm not going to do that. We'll type that in a bit later on. So now we're going to assign our variable selection. This will stay white because it's a variable. You can call it whatever you want, unless it's a command and it goes yellow. You can't have a variable which is also the same name as a command. So selection is not a command, so that's fine. Um, so you couldn't call this repeat because it would go yellow and it would think you were trying to do a command. So we're going to put a dollar sign which means that it's a text variable as I showed you in the last tutorial and remember these, um, these empty lines and I use tab to move across are not necessary they just make it look neater so I'm going to say this equals the input what do you choose question mark space quotation mark and brackets so that gap's there just so when it shows what you've typed it doesn't cram it right next to the exclamation mark right now I'm going to introduce you to a new another new command called the if statement so the if statement works you say if and you'll see it goes yellow so it's a command you say if something equals something or if something is smaller than or bigger than um, and then at the end of it you type in then and it goes yellow so we're going to say if not so that's the opposite of if and that's another command so if not selection equals e in quotation mark that's important um, if you put it just like that it thinks that's another variable which it isn't so if not selection equals e then and at the end of every if statement you need an end if to sandwich whatever you want inside to happen if selection doesn't equally then we're going to ask the player for two numbers so those are inputs as well so number one equals input what is the first number question mark then space again number two equals input what is the second number Right now you can see I haven't put any um, any sort of character after these variables um, because you don't need to. Um, it automatically sets it as a number variable. But if you want it to go into, be able to go into decimals and be a float, um, that's a technical term. Just put a hash after it and it will go into um, decimals. Right. So now we're just going to use the print command, which. You you should know if you watched my last tutorial. If you haven't, then I'd advise you watch it, although you don't definitely need to if you just follow these instructions. Don't worry if you don't understand all of it, as that's what happens when you stop programming. So, print the answer is, and we're going to do print. Now we're just leaving a little gap, so this is just print a blank line. It just sets out need to in the, um, the text window that will come up. So now we're going to use the if statement again. So if selection, which is a variable that we set as a string, you don't need to constantly um, put the dollar sign, it just needs to sign it at the start. So if selection equals A, then we're going to print. So um, you don't have to have your if statement then and then have your lines and then end if you can all put it onto one line if you wanted to uh, it just means you don't have to use end if so you, we could technically put
put that like that and then if you put a colon after it it, it counts that as a, a sort of and so it will do this then that but it really does not look neat and it would take way too many lines but that's just something useful occasionally when you're um, programming right so in print we're going to print variable number one plus number two so you can do this whereby it prints this, and it's printing this variable which is a number plus this so it'll just add the two up and put it as a number so if we just copy this four times so uh, a for add s for subtract m for multiply and d for divide so so the add simple minus is simple and um, blitz the multiply is when you do shift and click the 8 that's the symbol for multiply and then the symbol for divide is a backslash right next to the right shift key on my keyboard anyway then what we'll do is we'll just set it out a bit neater and print another blank, an, another blank line so there's our loop so we'll, we'll end this repeat so we'll do until then we'll do selection equals e so until you exit and in fact a very useful thing we're going to do now is um, say they input it in a capital A this won't be counted so what we can do is if we type in lower and then put the selection in brackets it says if the lower case of this letter so if it's an uppercase A it will just um, count this as a lowercase A so this really does help um, otherwise you'd be t um, copying this line again and then doing it with a capital A and that will take up twice as many lines so that's just useful help once you've exited the pro when you've when it goes past the loop it will just print another blank line it's just so it um, looks a lot neater you don't need to put them in you can see what it's like without them and we'll say thank you for using the calculator and then using the command you would have seen in the last tutorial delay 1000 which is 1000 milliseconds which is second then we'll end the program and a simple introduction using the techniques we used in the last tutorial we'll print the name of the program calculator delay one second print so you can add your own instructions really it's not like you have to follow these exact words it doesn't matter what you type just you can't have a speech mark inside what you want it to print because otherwise what it does is it thinks that's the end and then it counts this as a variable which is not good and it probably won't run to add two numbers s for subtract m for multiply and d for divide or e to exit and we'll delay 2000 and now if we run the program so compiling so it's just putting it all together and now when it runs which we'll do here we go calculator it's got a bit of a delay so here's our instructions what do you choose so let's say you want to add what's the first number let's do something simple like three what's the second number five the answer is eight so now let's do a subtract so s and see how it keeps on looping this um, you may, you can like here after the exit it um, it might be neater just to print that so it'll have a slight gap as you see the difference now it's just something little but just makes it look a lot nicer so there's just that gap there so let's try the multiply let's multiply 4 by 5 20 divide the um, 8 by 4 now I'll show you this should work say we do a capital S 
subtract 9 from 3. See, it still works because it's taken the lowercase version of that. So I hope you've understood that um, a little bit. And I hope you've all got working programs. If it says there's some kind of an error, just look at the code and make sure you've typed it out all correctly. If any of these sort of thens and prints aren't in yellow, then you've probably misspelt it. So um, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope it's been useful and I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you for watching.